very good morning to all the members of the press, friends, colleagues, industry colleagues, and everyone else who is present here today. Our company name, Eka, comes from the word Ekatra. And this means coming together. This is a name that was agreed upon after much deliberation because the vision, the mission, the passion of our company is to bring together the ecosystem in the country. And why do I say this? Because the mission for electric mobility is not just a mission about our company, it's a mission about Bharat, it's a mission about changing how goods are transported in India, how people move in India. The Bharat Mobility Show, and I'm sure the press has gone around and you have seen the excitement of what's happening in our country today. This excitement is because we are a country on the move. We are a country which is moving from conventional to new age technologies. We are a country where we are moving up, we are aspirational, we are looking to change. Our aspiration is not just to do better in India, but to be doing well globally. This is what ECA was created for. I am delighted that all of you are here today. Our mission, our vision, is really to change how India moves. What you see today is the result of years of effort by our team. And I can say with great pride that we have a young, I'm young at heart, the others are young, passionate team which has worked to deliver all of these vehicles. I'm very proud and delighted to tell you that Eka is the pure electric commercial vehicle mobility in the company in the country which now has the widest range of passenger vehicles. As of today our passenger vehicle range is right from 3 seater to 6 seater, 22 seater, 33 seater, 55 seater going all the way up to 18 meter articulated buses which is 125 passengers. So we will move India from vehicles which are from 3 seaters to 125 seaters. We have vehicles from rural India transportation, semi-urban India transportation to transporting people in cities to transporting in airports and vehicles which will run on the soon to come up electric highways of the country. And each of these vehicles has one thing which is the total cost of ownership. In 100% of all our vehicles have the total lowest total cost of ownership while you are travelling safely, in comfort and in the case of buses, in air conditioned comfort. For passenger vehicles, our idea, let me start with our 3-seater and 6-seater. 3-seater is something which you will have seen, the evolution of the auto industry in the last Three years, who could have imagined that more than 50% of three wheelers in our country will be electric? This is not just an opportunity for India, it's a global opportunity. The three wheeler that we launched today is one which is designed to carry people with the highest of space, which means people can travel in comfort, they have space to sit, they have space for luggage, and most importantly, the cost of ownership is the lowest. We are introducing a path-breaking vehicle. This is the first such vehicle of its kind in its category, which is a six-seater vehicle. And again, this is a vehicle for rural India. You know, one of the major socio-economic reasons why metros are not working as they should be is the fact that we don't have last mile connectivity. Also, one of the major reasons why more women are not able to come into the workforce is the fact that they don't have safe, affordable transportation for last mile. This is something we are looking to change with. Our six-seater vehicle is a vehicle that has a steering wheel. It can be driven very easily. In fact, our hope is that hundreds of thousands of women in India will drive these vehicles. They will be able to, this will create not just employment, but this will be a source of increasing the participation of women in our workforce. This is a vehicle that will provide last mile connectivity for cities. It will be for semi-urban rural India. 
it is for the world. It is the first of its kind in the world. It's a category breaking vehicle. It has full flat floor. You can carry six people, you can carry luggage. And most importantly, this is a vehicle that can charge. You know the question that many of the members of the media keep asking me, what about charging infrastructure? How will vehicles come? So I'm happy to tell you this vehicle will charge on a normal 16 ampere socket. Now imagine India is putting a hundred million the what we are helped with as a company is the vision, the drive of the government in making solar available everywhere. So soon hundred million households will have solar. Imagine a situation in the future that you can just plug your vehicle into any socket. You can plug it into the solar panel. And what do you have? You have something which is free availability of fuel, which ultimately means that the transportation becomes something which is affordable to every Indian. This is something that we want to achieve. This is one of the major reasons we have brought this vehicle. We want to bring a paradigm shift in the commercial vehicle industry. The objective of any company ultimately and for a company which is focused on bringing transportation mobility to India is to see that this is made available to the masses at a cost which is low. Our view is that this category of vehicles will redefine this market. The cost per kilometer will be the lowest in the country and we are looking forward to changing the transportation landscape of the country. Now I move to our buses. On buses, we are delighted to introduce India's largest range of buses. We are starting with our 7 meter. You know, all of our buses have a common design language and that design language is the, you can guess, it's that of a smiley. So what we are trying to the note is that public transport again has to be safe, has to be happy, has to be affordable and has to be comfortable. And this is what our bus range is conveying, the 22 seater bus which is a 7 meter bus again has all of the facilities for the specially able. We have a 9 meter bus which is in our sister company stall that you will be coming to in some time. And then we have our 12 meter bus, this is a 55 seater. It gets even more exciting. We are delighted to also show a vehicle that we are making with our partners, VDL. This is a vehicle that will redefine again urban transport in India. This is the version of 12 meter, but we will have another version which is an 18 meter articulated bus. Now, all of you are familiar with metros. Metros carries a lot of people during peak hours. These buses will eventually be able to carry 125 people, the 18 meter articulated versions. Again, these experience our products. You will see that public transport will never be the same again. It has to be safe, clean, affordable, cheap. This is something that we will make available through our range of products. This will have pantograph, this will have fast charging. All of the latest technologies are available in these products. And they will be, during the next year, all of them will be in the market. They are at different stages of development. But we want to redefine electric vehicle transportation as far as India is concerned. This is on our passenger range. Now, if this wasn't as exciting enough, we have an equally good, exciting announcement of the goods range. Again, our goods range starts from our three wheelers which will have, again, this is a category defining product what we are launching today. The three wheeler that you see there is going to be able to carry loads at the lowest possible cost. Again, can be charged anywhere, anytime. We'll have a range of around 200 kilometers. From that, we move on to our one and a half ton vehicle. This vehicle is already successfully flying in India. I can give you use cases where these vehicles are being used for garbage transport. Just for your understanding, we have a huge challenge with the Swachh Bharat where we want to clean up our cities. One of the objectives of these vehicles is to be able to be used for applications like garbage which are perfect for electric use. The data that we have and we are running these vehicles now for the last year, year and a half is the running cost of these vehicles is 10 to 20 percent that of diesel. I repeat, 10 to 20 percent that of diesel. So, if you are a follower of diesel, Tata bye bye in some time for diesel. This is why electric vehicles are going to be the future, whether it's ours or somebody else's. The business case for electric makes sense. We move on from our one and a half ton vehicle. Again, we go on, we have a seven ton vehicle and the 
Other vehicle that we'll be launching shortly is our 55 ton truck, which can carry more than 40 tons. The use case for electric in India is extremely strong, you know. I, I'll tell you a very, very interesting statistic. And if you remember one message from this, please remember that. That buses, medium and heavy trucks constitute 4% of the vehicle population of our country. 4% but constitute 50% of the carbon emission of our country. I repeat, 4% of vehicles are 50% of carbon emission. ACA will be offering a range of vehicles which is going to change this equation in our country. We are using about 6 lakh crores of fuel for transporting these vehicles. Our estimate is that if India moves 10% to electric every year for this category of vehicles, we are going to end up saving 2 to 3 crores every year in fuel cost. Now that's the size and scale of the transformation which is coming. My request, we are a new company, we are an ambitious company, but I think the whole of the auto industry needs to move in this direction because this is a national mission, it's a national imperative, it's not just our company. We have to change the focus to bring this new technologies to India so that we are able to save uh, all of the, and this is what we want to do with our buses, our trucks, Again, remember 6 lakh crores, remember that we are going to be able to reduce 50% of carbon emissions. For anybody who lives in Delhi and is giving up a few years of their life by being here during the winter time, these are the vehicles which are going to redefine to make our cities cleaner, to make our cities less pollution, uh, more pollution free and this is what we want to bring this ecosystem. Uh, in summary, I want to say that uh, we are here today to make a statement. We are here today to make us. We are very privileged. To my knowledge, we are the only EV company in the world which has a top Japanese conglomerate. And I will introduce Daikoku San in some time. We have the BDL Group, which is the number one electric mobility company in Europe. All of them, uh, all three of us, including Pinnacle Industries, which is the mother company of Eka, including Mitsui, and including the BDL Group are committed to bring this change to our country. We are a company that is Indian at heart, but global in its thinking. We have a global management team. We have representatives of Mitsui and VDL, which are part of the management of the company. We want to bring this change, not just in India, but around the world. We have a very large, global, ambitious plan to not only be present in India, but to take the flag of India around the world. Again, and I will stop because I can keep giving you statistics today. 97 to 98% of electric vehicles in the world come from a neighboring country. This is something we want to change. This is a national imperative. The EV ecosystem is the largest single manufacturing opportunity of the world. 